This is why we love Ireland. Don't think I can fix this one. A little terrifying, I've got to say. Hi everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Lost in Transit. We're Tom and Iz. A couple of years ago, we decided to do up an old Ford Transit, move into it and disappear into the great outdoors. After fitting out the van and escaping lockdowns, we are finally living van life. Come along for the ride as we attempt to live, work and play in a tiny space together while travelling the world. Having spent three months in Scotland, we crossed the Irish Sea to Ireland. This series, we will be following the Wild Atlantic Way along some of the most spectacular scenery in the world. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to a new episode of Lost in Transit. We are in this beautiful mountainous spot. It's one of our favourite park ups in a while, actually. And it's really nice just to be out here all on our own. It's starting to get a bit busier around the spots we're camping at and stuff. Just a few other campers there and lots of people at all their sites. So we ran off into the hills and it didn't take long for us to escape the crowds. But I'm really glad we came out here. It's such a beautiful spot. So today we're going to drive back down a little way towards Killarney and we're going to start the Ring of Kerry. Daily van clean is done. Now let's go and explore this area. First stop of the drive, a couple of minutes up from where we were cam camping. Just your coat. Oh. I'll get it in a minute. We're at the Balakashin Pass. With lots of stickers on the side. You get an amazing view up here. So this area of Glencar, it covers 20 square miles, but it has a population of 450 people. You would have seen now in our previous episode that we tried to hike up Karen Tool and we couldn't make it, it was just too treacherous up there. But because of the area we're in, we always have a view of Karen Tool, so it's almost like laughing us a bit like, ha ha, you can't beat me, I'm a mountain. You're so odd, isn't it? <laughs> We're back in Tom's territory, we're back in the woods. Likine Wood, we've just stumbled across. Anyway, we're on this like woodland walk. I've sort of dragged Tom along in for, on it because, um, well, we've actually got a lot of other stuff planned. We've driven along from that woodland a little bit now and we've just stopped at this gorgeous lake that we're driving alongside, it's so, Beautiful, and the sun's come out. Road trip in the wild Atlantic way. <laughs> it's not the wild Atlantic way. Come down to Ross Bay Beach and unfortunately there's a height barrier in the car park so bear that in mind around Ireland there's lots of height barriers but luckily most of them are down in the winter we found but this one isn't so we've just found a little bit on the side of the road to pull in. We've had to park a little bit naughty hopefully we didn't get in trouble. So Ross Bay Beach is like a little strip of beach which comes out opposite from Inch Beach and they almost meet there's only a very narrow channel in between. The mountains come straight into the sea all along here. Ropes just climbing us so high, right close to the water, it's beautiful. So some of you who have been watching us for a little while might remember that in the comments, uh, someone called Sandy 
uh, messaged and said you can come and stay at our place and this is that place so amazing thank you so much Sandy for letting us stay and um, thank you so much to all of our little YouTube community for being so nice to us. So this is the first time we've been here it's really beautiful this is exactly how I'd like to decorate it. Oh, look at it. Oh Tom we're gonna absolutely love this. This little kitchen, the oven, let's go upstairs. Oh, this is so nice. Okay, Tom's already made, made himself at home watching a film. I'm gonna just get our van all ship shaped because I want to get all our stuff and move in properly. May as well bring the soup in. Who knows when we fancy soup? Also, clear out this fridge, take in what we want. Fridge empty. Also, got the laundry to bring into the house. It is so nice to be in this little farmhouse and uh, we've got our own little fire. And Sandy has ordered in a load of turfs. It's cut from the peat bogs and dried out. And this is what we light our fire with. I've never lit a turf fire before, so uh, let's see how hard it is to light. It's kind of fun that have a DVD player and lose the DVDs. So obviously, gonna settle into the Lord of Rings and uh, enjoy next to my little turf fire. Vegetables are cooking. Gonna set up Lost in Transit HQ right here. method tried and tested from my mum is 45 minutes on 15 minutes off so 45 minutes set your timer if you're writing an essay if you're doing a bit of work if you're doing revision um, it's really good if you find yourself like just stuck in a rut so I've just set the timer and you're not allowed to look at your phone you're not allowed to have any distractions for 45 minutes go 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 but then you have to stop, you have to be strict. At 45 minutes the timer goes off you have to stop what you're doing maybe finish the sentence if you're on a roll and then get up and away from that screen. Good morning. We are blessed with another sunny winter's day in Ireland. So we've driven away from the Airbnb and back onto the Ring of Kerry and on this little peninsula there's a few ring forts that we wanted to check out and these ones are a bit different from ones that we saw in Dingle. I think these ones are a bit more like a fort than like a fortified homestead so I'm quite excited to see these. First fort we're going to is Cahe Gal, stone fort. I'm armed with the camera and the drone. So this fort is not quite as old as the ones in Dingle, but it's still pretty old. So this is um, from 500 BC to 400 AD. So it's still got a good 2000 years old and it's in amazing condition. Tom's just broken the drone. Sorry, it's not funny, but like. <laughs> Don't think I can fix this one. Oh, I guess we have to buy a new drone. Oh. That's last month's YouTube earnings out the window. <laughs> oh. Very silly. Oh, so silly. I know in these situations it doesn't help to be like that was silly because Tom knows it was silly. But we, we, he was flying around the ring for. I wish I'd filmed it because he was whizzing round and I was like, Tom, you little racer, like careful. No, and then one not. final thing to show off. She went straight into the wall. Lesson: drones are not pod racers, no matter how tempting it is. <laughs> What's a pod racer? It's a Star Wars pod oh, racer. Oh, it looked like you had fun at least. Yeah, it was fun. Fun where it lasted. 100 metres down the road, we're at a second ring port. 
Wow! And this one over, like, actually... Whoa! Better. I mean, we have to, right? I'm going in. Give me oh. that camera. Are we so mad? Whew! This one's even smaller than last time, I think. Oh my god. I mean, can I even get under that? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a big tunnel. Oh, a bit nervous. Here's my entrance. Oh. Oh. This one is much, much narrower. Oh my god. Wow, this one is um, a little terrifying, I've got to say. Very, very scary. I'm only, I'm, I'm literally, that's the entrance, but uh, it goes on a lot further. Oh. Yeah? I'm doing it. Oh. Oh. Okay, Proper's underground, but he's got the scariest suit train ever. <laughs> it's so tiny, the hole. Oh, oh, see this one? Oh, oh my god. Wow, this one is like a proper corridor. Oh. Is it getting smaller? No, he's actually getting wider. I mean, I think I'm nearly at the entrance, the other exit. Uh, I don't think you are because it's all the way over across. I think there's a second, a, a second one. Oh. 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 I'm gonna go see if I can find them on the other exit. So this is one exit, but he's no, he's nowhere near this one. So, I'm, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm all good. <laughs> so I've been, oh, so I've been crawling through the suit terrain for about uh, ten meters, maybe more, fifteen. And now I think I'm inside the walls of the fort, and there's a little window, but it's barred. Can you hurry up and come out? I and hate this. There's a big this. chamber in here, but I guess maybe they would have hid from invaders. He's coming. He's under there. Oh. There's no other way out. Oh, unless I can get out of here. No. Right. Wow. So yeah, this is one's probably a hiding space, I'd imagine, uh, just from how it's uh, set up. And this is quite a big chamber in here. You can get quite a few people in. But now I have to crawl back, back along and out. I <laughs> really hate this. I don't want to have a go again. Tom! Tom, I love you. Please keep speaking to me. Oh, I hate this. Tom! 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 Yes. Oh. Please, can you come back? Yeah, I'm coming. Oh, I can hear him. Oh my god, that was horrible. Oh, are you alright? Yeah. Just crawling over these rocks. Thank oh. God you're coming back. <laughs> oh, my heart is racing so much. Oh. Are you alright? Very muddy. That oh. was crazy. That was cool. That was like a really long tunnel. Wow. Oh. Ah, uh, look, you can see there's a little map here where you can see where I went. We started in this roundhouse and I crawled out and under, and there was a, like a cave inside the walls, and you could just see out. <sighs> Guys, it's been overdue. We haven't gone for a swim in a while. We need one. Yeah. We want to. 
We just reset. Feel, we feel a bit yeah. like funny at the moment. I think we've just been a bit like uh, maybe a bit overwhelmed with the YouTube stuff, <laughs> and then the drones crashed, and I broke my phone, and there's just a few things that are just like build up, and I just think we need to let it all go yeah. and have a sea swim. Off we go for our dunk. Our first dunk since New Year's Eve. <laughs> <laughs> After having a bit of a break from sea swimming, it feels like a big challenge getting back in. Come at me, water! Woo! I mean, it is very cold. Oh. Oh, it's oh, my feet, man. Yeah. <laughs> To the supermarket now and then head back to the house and see if we can work out how to get a new drone. Yesterday we'd sort of come up with a plan. Today's plan was editing, but we have a bit more of a pressing matter to deal with. The drone that I crashed, we need to sort this out. Got a replacement drone. I hope you enjoyed the shots. I'll be more careful now. Oh, so annoying. Back we go after a very extensive trip to Kalani. And now go back and edit a vlog. That's today's exciting activities done. Today is a very grey and miserly day. Uh, we are just checking out the Airbnb. It's been really nice day in here. It's given us a chance to really do some planning uh, about what we want to do for the rest of the year. We're all checked out of Taylor's Cottage. So yeah, big shout out to Sandy. You, yeah, we haven't met you, but we do feel like we get on with you quite well. We like a lot of your books and films. One of them, How To Be Idle, we like so much that we have just downloaded on Kindle so we can finish it. Um, but as usual, it feels good to like get back into the van. Uh, it's nice to be back in the van, back in our little home. Um, yeah. It is very rainy. Yeah, it's probably the uh, worst day to like move back in. Yeah, it's rained for a few days now on the forecast, but it is winter and I'm, this is the weather I sort of thought it was going to be the whole time, so it's not too bad. We've gotten to Valencia Island and we've just driven all the way down to the end of the island uh, to see what's around and we are at a slate quarry. I don't think we're gonna go in, I think you can pay to do a tour, uh, but we're just gonna have a little look around. I actually took a wrong turning and ended up here by accident. The entrance to the quarry is just through this huge cave entrance. It looks amazing. And there's a grotto up at the top of the entrance as well. Apparently the Carricks would cut a poor man's headstone for a bottle of whiskey. The what? Carrots? I don't know what that is. Can't really go into the quarry because it is a working quarry. It's quite cool to see. We we're trying to find some footprints, some fossil footprints. <laughs> so I took the wrong turning, so let's try again. Yeah, we just sort of appreciate that Tom. <laughs> Tom's outfit, it's January. I refuse to let the weather dictate to me what I wear. So tetrapod just means it's got four legs because tetra is four, pod is legs. Good to get out on the sea air. Oh look, this is the tetrapod, this is what we're talking about. So apparently this is the second oldest like evidence of a four-legged animal on land. So Tom, why has a footprint of a <laughs> Why is a footprint of a tetrapod? created this indent in the rock. Um, well, it wouldn't have been a rock when they left it. It would have been mud and then it's like solidified over time uh, and turned into a sedimentary rock. And it's left the track that they left in the mud. So is that what we call a fossil? No. <laughs> no? Not really, no. Okay. A fossil is when a dead animal mineralizes, whereas this is just mud that's turned into rock. This is a sedimentary rock, but when it was forming, a footprint was 
is it? Two science teachers right there. Ask us anything. And so how long ago was that? I don't know. I've just told them it's the oldest it's vertebrate, vertebrate. It's in situ. Vertebrate. <laughs> what did you say vertebrate? <laughs> You're a science teacher. I didn't say vertebrate. Vertebrate. I know. Vertebrate. I said vertebrate. that. Vertebrate. Well done, new thing. Despite the bad weather, we've decided to try and do a walk. Um, we're doing the Bray Head Loop. This is the cliffs to carry over the water. So this is the signal tower that we're walking to. Nearly there now. Woo! There's something quite spooky and mystical about it, with these jagged cliffs and the sea mist rolling up over the top, and there's a chuff flying around. Um, so we're heading back to the van, uh, I think we might play a little board game. Isabel's challenged me and I'm going to whip her. Morning everybody! Hello. 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 It's a very rainy day today. We're getting a bit more of what we get, the kind of weather we would expect coming to Ireland in the winter. Um, yeah, time for some coffee. So we're just having a bit of a lazy Saturday, just drinking our coffee and we're gonna, it's still quite rainy, so I think we're gonna just like do a little bit of work on the laptop. We are gonna show you guys how we get our bed, our bed into sofa mode. We recommend our bed setup because it's long, it's comfy, it's roomy, and it, when we put it away, it means we can toast the people in our van. There you have it. Edit station a go go. How realistic these look. Okay guys, this is why we love Ireland. It says it's gonna rain all day and then the sun comes out. So we wanna make the most of this amazing weather we've got, um, but this area of Kerry is a bit more touristy than some of the other places along the World Atlantic Way, which means we've, you have to pay for quite a lot of things. So uh, like the parking is paid for and even the walks on the cliffs. So the cliffs here on Valencia Island and the Kerry cliffs over the road are both private and you need to pay to visit them and we have no cash so we found a wall we can do for free uh, and then we might go and get some cash out and come back to this area. We've just arrived at our walk, it's just a gorgeous day, look at the views. It's really, really sunny, uh, but very, very cold. There is something so magical about the Skellig Isles. It's just like these weird, pointy rocks in the middle of the sea, it's really cool. Right, we're getting a bit chilly now, so we're gonna move on and carry on this walk. I think we're only about halfway. So I'm taking the bag, so I'm a bit slow. Here we go. Look at this view behind, man. It's gorgeous. The watchtower and the barracks. So we finished the Bolas barrack loop. It took us just over two hours. We did stop for quite a long time to film on the drone. And I really recommend it. This is just a gorgeous walk. So we've just driven a short way down uh, the coast, literally a five minute drive, and we're at this beautiful beach, and we're gonna park up here for the night. It's really lovely.
Good morning. So we have had a pretty lazy Sunday morning today. Uh, we've been watching some van lifers on the projector. I can't wait to show you the view out the back door. I mean, you saw it last night, but it's just so nice being sleeping with the sound of the waves. And I gave it a big talk yesterday, saying to us that we'd go swimming today. So I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is now. So we've been having a little bit of a mad dash around the van, uh, trying to find the little cover bit on the GoPro to make it waterproof, but unfortunately we've misplaced it. Uh, so you're not coming into the water with us, you'll have to stay on the beach. But there's nothing else to put off our swim now, so we're gonna have to go in. We are braving out the storm. It's really horrible out there. I don't really particularly want to go out, but you like... Should, you've been waiting all <laughs> morning about it. The only reason you're going out is because you wanted to go out. Let me finish. But I'm feeling a bit like restless. Do you ever get that feeling when you're like... Too much coffee. No. <laughs> Stop finishing my sentences. Sentences, sandwiches. <laughs> Yeah, I've just been feeling a bit like, like it's restless, I don't really know what I want to be doing, itchy feet. There's a itchy cream for that, feet. I think. And I don't know, like, although I kind of want to have a cosy time in the van, I think the days, we're going to be in the van from like five o'clock anyway, because it gets dark then. So I think we should get out while it's light and just go have a stomp around, get some fresh air. Come on. to get their boat, boat across to Skellig Island. guys it's been a fab week and it's been so much fun bringing you along with us we're just gonna eat up our popcorn and carry on watching breaking bad which we've got into about 10 years upon the trend if you enjoyed it you know <laughs> what to do give us a like if you want to see our videos press subscribe and it will show you our videos more often and if you press a little bell icon you'll get a not notification when we release one um cheers then thank you for watching see you next week We're matching again. You need to stop doing this. So embarrassing. Yes, you are. Can you stand up fully in your band, Tom? Yeah, so I can feel the ceiling. Your hair's getting too long. <laughs> when my hair grows anymore, it'll be a flat on top. <laughs> 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 I live with a nincompoop. <laughs> it's me. <laughs>